Oh boy, it has already begun. Tom Brady, I think this one is for you. Today at the New England Patriots training camp, some Jets fans let the Pats know how they really felt. Flying above the practice field was an airplane towing a banner that said, Cheaters, look up. Oh man, that's cold. I wonder what Bill Belichick thought about that. But hey, it just means it's finally that time of the year, the start of training camp and practice for the NFL. Good evening, I'm Luke Litton with your look at sports. A handful of teams have already begun their first practice, including the Dallas Cowboys, about two hours ago. Running back Darren McFadden on the sidelines and is not able to participate just yet because he is still recovering from a tweaked hamstring. But the Cowboys believe he will be able to practice early next week. And of course, Tony Romo ready for practice to begin. And you can't forget about the multi million dollar man, Dez Bryant. Romo says he is not worried about his past back injury and says it is all about working together as a team. It's just about going out and executing each play. It's not about an individual or what specific play is called. It's really just about doing your best with what that play is, and if each guy does that, we'll be fine. Not only is the start of the NFL right around the corner, but so is the school year. And today, Montwood High School announced their new softball and wrestling coaches. Staff and students got together at Montwood High earlier today to welcome both coaches to the school. The Montwood wrestling team will now be coached by Oscar Norez, while Cynthia Hernandez is now the new softball coach. She's a Montwood alum, and this is her first ever head coaching job. Well, everything that I've done all my softball career has been here at Mallard, so it's amazing to be here back home. Yeah. It's just getting myself out there, uh, knowing the community, learning kids. Uh, it's a great community here, great group of kids. Um, I'm very excited about it. The UTEP Miners basketball squad is still looking to beef up their roster as best they can. The Miners have already signed British swingman Josh McSwiggan, and now they have made another offer to another wing. According to the AZ Power Basketball Twitter account, it looks like UTEP has offered 6'7 Bryce Cheney a chance to play in their team this upcoming season. Cheney played his high school ball in Arizona at Moon Valley and averaged just about 11 points per game his senior year. UTEP could not comment about the offer, but we will continue to follow this story with the next signing period coming up in November. And that is a look at sports.